Liquids cannot be compressed, so they are excellent carriers of a shock wave. Dr. Smith is filling a glass bottle almost to the top with water. He is then going to strike the top of the bottle with a rubber mallet. The rubber mallet compresses the air inside the narrow neck of the bottle, and this shock wave travels to the water and increases the pressure on the water. Since water cannot compress, this force instantly gets equally distributed to all parts of the water in the bottle. Since the bottom of the bottle has a large surface area, the force is enhanced at the bottom of the bottle, and the bottom pops out. If you want to try this demonstration of surface area, be sure to take all necessary safety precautions. This is what happens when you run out of glass bottles.